Big scrimmage today, last week of, of spring ball coming up. How, how's your defensive line progressing? You know, I feel like they've done a lot of good things. Uh, really have progressed. Brandon Dunn has really changed his body, dropped some weight, uh, and has been really productive uh, this spring and improved from last season. And, and everyone as a group has done that. He and Marcus Smith have made tremendous strides. So has uh, B.J. DeBose. And proud of them as a group. Obviously, our second unit, D-Tackles, uh, Hunter Stout and, uh, and Dominique Dishman, they went out and competed and, and, and given what they've had. Yeah. And obviously the freshman that's coming in this, uh, this, uh, this summer is going to have to help us out. And, and we've done a good job. You know, granted, there's been some runs that have gotten popped in the two scrimmages that we've had. And I think as a front seven, we got to get on the page and understand it's always either one or two people where, you know, how we fit up and run, you know, the, with the backers and our safety. Uh, D lineman getting out, of, you know, jumping out of his gap. We got to correct some of those mistakes uh, that we didn't have last year, and they've arisen this spring. And those are easily uh, correctable mistakes, but they've done a good job. How have the injuries um, in the middle, you know, kind of kind of affected things for you? Has that kind of put a, a, a hamper on some of the things you're trying to get done this spring? You no, know, it does. But at the same time, I look at it two ways. You know, you try not to dwell on the negative. Uh, does it hurt us not having Roy File on this spring? Absolutely. You know, he's arguably our best interior defensive lineman. You know, but at the same time, it's given Brennan uh, Dunn and Jermaine Brooks a chance to get a lot more reps uh, in there and continue to develop it for them to get better. And, and it's allowed some guys to be able to grow. We've even worked Marcus Smith a little bit in a three technique, even though that's more of a pass situation. Uh, but they've done very well. I'm proud of those guys. And we've really started to grow up and, and get a good chemistry. Uh, as a defensive line. Touched on Smith a little bit. Uh, you know, he, he was kind of, he moved positions, played played some last year. How has he progressed? Has he become more of an all-around guy at, at that defensive yeah, end yes spot? Yes, he has. He's taken another step. You know, last year, you know, obviously the expectations were high, and we have high expectations. We said the bar high for all of our kids. But he made some freshman mistakes in terms of being a freshman playing the defensive line position yeah. that was new for him. And, uh, and didn't play as fast as what you want because he didn't trust his he didn't trust his eyes he didn't trust what he saw uh, understanding what the down the distance was and where we can go get it and get after the quarterback which is his strength uh, and he's turned the corner on that this spring you know obviously the off season coaching those things uh, making him understand down the distances line splits you know things like that is going on it's been a lot going into his development and he's gotten so so much better I'm very proud of him last week before the spring game. Um, in what areas does the defense have to make progress this, you know, these final couple practices? Number one, understanding fits in a run game. You know, so much about being good and stopping the run is everyone understanding what their responsibilities are, you know, and, and making sure we fit those things up right. That's what helped us. We went from our first year here as a program, as a defense, we were giving up about 145 yards rushing a game. This past year, dropped all the way down to 100. Our goal as a defense is to keep people under 100 yards rushing. The reason why we went from, I believe it was like 52nd in the country in 2010 to number 10 in the country in 2011 is because everyone in the front seven was well-versed in understanding what their run fits were versus an offense. And, and obviously, I got to get some credit to our offense as well. Our running backs, Norris Perry, Jeremy Wright, Dominique Brown, those guys are doing a great job, great job of running behind their pads and getting downhill. So a lot of times you can have a good fit. We make contact with the ball carrier, you got to knock those guys back or you got to stone them right there. And they're doing a good job of doing it. So as a football team, we're getting a lot, lot better. But competitively, we got to do a better job of fitting up some of these runs and being better at the point of contact tackling the ball. You know, obviously you guys are trying to put pressure on Teddy, but, uh, you know, in what areas have you seen him grow this spring? I'll tell you what, he uh, – <laughs> We knew he was good last year. We knew we had something special. Uh, the progress that he has made this spring and what Coach Watson has done with him is uh, is unbelievable. I mean, obviously we felt he was a special player. I think maybe I didn't give enough credit. That kid, he has everything you want. You know, he's so composed. He commands respect, uh, directs the offense. The guys follow him, and he doesn't have to say much. They just know when he gets in the huddle, he has command of it, and he's been doing just a fantastic job. So. Uh, we're really excited about what we have at, at him. He just seems like he's playing, maybe not thinking, and, and just, just looks like it's, it, it's just a natural thing for him to just spray the ball all over the place and make, uh, you know, make big plays. You know, the thing about Teddy is he's going to play within the offense. Uh, he wants to spread the ball around and get everyone involved in it. And the thing about it is the kid doesn't panic. I mean, he's been like mm -hmm. that since he was in ninth grade. He doesn't panic about anything. Nothing frazzles him. He's going to stay within himself, whether it's a great play or a bad play. Teddy's going to be Teddy. 
You know, so, and the thing is, it has an effect on the team. They never panic in a bad situation. We just rebound and go right back at it. So, uh, it's great having him as our signal caller, and we're going in a great direction with him. You know, a lot of people are picking this team to be uh, preseason Big East favorite. Is that uh, still a young team? Is that a fair, realistic expectation for this group? I'll be honest, we don't need to worry about that. We have to play. Uh, all the expectations are fine and whatnot, and that's, and that's okay. You know, we were picked last the first two years we were in here. Mm -hmm. We didn't worry about that. You know, so you got to buckle up and go play. You got to practice. You have to prepare. You have to do all the things necessary to be a champion. No matter what people may say about how bad you may be or how great you may be, you have to prepare yourself the same way all the time. And that's to be the very best. So our mindset won't change on that. Our coaching staff won't change on that message being delivered to the kids. So all the accolades and those things, we ignore all the press clippings. Hell, our newspapers and hell, you guys want to write about Kentucky anyway. We'll just worry about us. Not me. <laughs>